Hi everyone, welcome back to Raptors Garage OG. I'm at a bit of a loose end today. It's a Friday morning and I've not got a lot to do. So uh, I thought I'd do some maintenance on my truck. I've got to get it ready for the Pyrenees trip. And mechanically, I don't think there's much on the truck that needs doing. Uh, in fact, I'm pretty sure there's nothing now. Uh, but I just want to go through and check a few things. I know I've got an exhaust that's blowing and that's just a loose couple of bolts. I've got Teddy who wants to play ball -y. Hang on. Um, loose couple of bolts on the exhaust. On check the fluids. I do need to do a full service, but I haven't got a service kit in for this. So, uh, ow, it's burning me in the sun. That's hot. Um, I need to get a service kit in, uh, but we'll do that in the full video. We'll do a full service on a 300. Uh, I want to check the roof tent. I did some repairs on my awning. Uh, I want to check them. Like I said, I want to fix the leak on the exhaust. When I do the service, I'm going to change the oil in the gearboxes and the front axle. Don't need to do the back because we've only just put that in. Nothing to do on the timing gear. Check water. Just to basically, you know, a walk around and make sure everything's okay. And uh, I want to go through the equipment on the truck to see what, you know, if I'm carrying things I don't need to carry. There will be stuff on here that I've used over the winter I won't need in the Pyrenees. Uh, there'll be equipment in here that I don't need. So it's just one of those. So uh, first thing, I'm going to get the roof tent open, make sure that's okay as well. So I'll do that first, make sure it's dry, because it has been wet recently, but it's lovely now that we've got the sun out. So dry that out. Well, not dry it out, check that it is dry. Get the awning out, check the repairs. So let's start with the roof tent. Yeah, I'll clean the solar panel while I'm up here as well. Oh, I know what, there's uh, battery operated lights in here. And I need to check the battery pack. Actually, that's damp. I can feel that. There's moisture in here, so that's a good thing to get it open today. Uh, drop the side panels. Yeah, it's definitely damp in here. It was raining last time I went out. Yeah, that's very humid. Let's just check under the under the mattress. Oh, that's dry. Probably worth getting the bedding out and giving that an airing as well. Right, we'll leave that open, let it dry. Uh, get the side awnings open, make sure they're dry. What's up, Ted Bear? Actually, that's bone dry.
Well, now I've got this up, uh, it was well worth getting this out, even though it was really difficult. This pole isn't locking properly. Oh, it might be now. No, it's still slipping a bit. And it's a lot better than it was. Oh, it is holding. Can you push it back? A bit. This is the one I had to repair. I had to take the insert. It is holding. That's fine. No, it is holding. It's probably because the repair is new. It's okay, we don't need to fix that. Leave that out to air. Oh, I'll tell you what, not easy to put up on your own. Certainly is not easy. How the hell am I going to pack it away? I'll have to get help for that. Right, um, next job. Let's have a look on the interior, see what we don't need. Uh, well, we do need that because that's the lights of the ornament, so we do need those wires. We need somewhere for those to live. Let's put them behind there for now. Well, my solar panel is putting out 17 volts at the moment. Wow. For that, we'll turn, we'll turn the fridge on. Cool, we've got power to burn. Food stuff, coffee stuff, uh, they get renewed quite often, so I'm not too worried about that. Fridge we need, oven we need. Jet boil we need, uh, that's a food box. We need everything on this side, bar that. We don't need to carry a paraffin lamp. And we don't need a Coleman's light. We have LEDs for that. Uh, cooker, fire extinguisher, washing up bowl, rubbish bag, uh, anti-mosquito, insecty thing burners, like, uh, I like joystick sort of things for insects. Uh, what else? I think we need everything on this side. Right, let's have a walk around the other side. Go find a home for that. Um, well, we need chairs. We know we need them. Let's move them out of the way for a minute. We need the stand upon, we need the ladder. That's a shoe bag, that's the cooker. That is the spare table, what goes on the other side, so we'll keep that in. That's a bit of cardboard. So, hello teddy bear. I've got a very, very needy dog here. So, right, this is a box of spares. Let's come over here. If you're wondering, oh, this isn't a box of spares, I tell a lie, this is camping stuff. Uh, that's a shower, that's off John Smith. Uh, that's a toaster, don't really need that. Don't need a barbecue cleaner, some absorbent oil pads. That's the portaloo, that is a European um, connector that goes on our extension lead. Right, we don't need a barbecue, and that's heavy. That can go in the other truck, because uh, you can't really have open fires in Spain. But you, can't have a, you can't have a very needy dog either. Uh, so uh, we don't need that. We don't need to take that with us, that going barrel. So. That's spare bits for the toilet, like uh, spare cleaning stuff. Oil pads again. Um, need to put something. Oh, I need to put my European uh, socket connector in. Hello, dog. Right. Um, three gang camping plug with a blue socket on and uh, that connector with the, one of the European plugs on means we can connect up at campsites for if we need to charge cameras and drones and stuff. So that, if it all fits in, should do, just before. That's 
that box sorted. Right, let's have a look what's in the spares box. That's a lot lighter. Okay, this one is the spares box because I knew there was only two in there. <coughs> Teddy, please go away, mate. You're stunned. Go. Right, what do we keep in, the, in this box? Rocker cover gasket, always worth having. Two spare serpentine belts. The, uh, they're both used ones. Uh, the ones I've taken off, they're perfectly good. But um, I've had one explode on a trip, just, just let go, so I always carry two. If you haven't got one of those serpentine belts and you've got a 300 TDI, you know that you can't go anywhere. Spare water pump. You never know. That's a that's a takeoff one, but it's perfectly good. Spare mirror. I have smashed uh, a driver's side mirror before on a tree, so I carry a spare one now. I can afford to lose the passenger side one, but the driver's side one uh, you need. Uh, water pump gaskets. So the whole housing set. So P gasket, water pump, uh, and the one where the whole unit bolts to the head. That's a magnetic holder for stuff. Uh, spare set of headlight bulbs, because if you're in Europe you definitely need spare bulbs. Hub gasket. Hub seal. Gaffer tape. Far too much twine for some reason. Right, some of that can come out. That's a seal for something and I have no idea why it's in there. UJs. I need to get some more. Uh, I normally carry two sets and there's only one in there so I need to get another UJ. Drive shaft bolts. They do have a habit of working the way loose so I carry spares. Ratchet strap. Fairly big one. Um, if you ever need to ratchet strap an axle on and I've done that and uh, it's got me to places where I've needed to go to to get things repaired so big ratchet strap work light road, it's a roadside strobe as well so got one of them I think that's off, there we go gas powered soldering iron Somewhere I've got the gas, but I don't think it's in here. Zip ties. Spare lift pump. That's a brand new lift pump in a bag. Always carry a lift pump. Insulation tape. More insulation tape. Actually, I need some of that. I'll keep some of that out. More headlight bulbs. That's a, actually that's a full bulb set. And fuses. Piece of wire. You never know. You might need a piece of wire. A um, a kit for making up uh, jubilee clips it's to any length, any size. So it's a roll of the roll of the um, the actual metal bit and the clips. So you can make that up to. I think that's a meter long. So you can make them to any size. Told you I keep prop shaft bolts. Brand new ones. Wheel bearings. Now I do normally have a wheel bearing kit as well. With the grease and everything in. Another random uh, seal. I'll have to check what those are. There's two of them. FTC two uh, FTC five two six eight. I don't know what that is. I'll check that up in a minute. Spare fastenings for the roof rack and spare uh, clips for the wolf boxes. This is probably the most useful thing you can carry. This is a random assorted set of nuts and bolts. All different sizes, 
there's hub bolts, random nuts and bolts, I mean random ones, but can always be used for something if you need to. They're not specific, they're just random ones. There are some specific ones in there. Circlips, you know, loads of circlips. Those are axle shaft circlips. Another random bearing. One day I'll find out what the random bearings do. Hub socket. I think that's an oil pressure switch. Yes it is. Hello Teddy, you're back again. No way mate. You're in shot. Go. Go. Thank you. Uh, bits of spill pipe. More prop shaft bolts. Hub bolts. Uh, brake uh, clips, pipes, all sorts of things. All stuff to do with brakes and that. Uh, brakes and wheels. So the shims for your brakes. Now normally there is a set of brake pads in here. I normally keep a set of front and rear brake pads. Spare stub axle. That's a rear. A spare front universal joint. Packed in grease. And track rod ends left and right. That's pretty much all I carry in, uh, in spares. Obviously spare cloth. So that's what's in the spares box. And Teddy's going in the spares box in a minute. Hello mate. So um, I think we pretty much need everything in there and we need to get some more wheel bearings. And the other thing we normally carry is um, like spare oil, not too much, a couple of litres of engine oil, uh, a litre or a couple of litres of um, gear oil, just, just in case, As, uh, you never know, so just to top things up. So that's it for spares. Right, put this back now I've sorted it and we'll have a look what's in the front. Okay, on the inside of the truck what are we carrying? Let's start with the door pocket. It's just a piece of hose that goes on the tap. Uh, some Velcro. Actually Velcro is really useful, especially if anything happens to your roof tent. So I keep a various lengths of uh, double-sided Velcro. The uh, Center cubby. I think this is my tyre repair kit if I remember. Oh, my tyre deflator because I need that all the time. So one tyre deflator. One teddy dog. Don't grab that. It moves. Uh, various bits and bobs in the cubby. Pack of clay playing cards for if we're stuck anywhere. And a tape measure. Now the tape measure is quite important because when you go when you have, when you get up to the boat, you know how tall is your truck? Tape measure. Useful. Um, there's first aid kit in here. Socket set. Let's have a look at this. I said tie deflator. Full socket set. Spanners, screwdrivers. The only thing I must put in is a hammer. Uh, I have been using uh, an axe before now. We're not allowed to take them anymore. Can't uh, go on the boat because it's classed as a weapon, so that's got to come out. And uh, that might have to come out too. So I'll take them out so I'll have to put a hammer in. Now, I'm thinking of chucking an impact gun in with me. Or see if... Because uh, I'm going with Mark and Ruby, so uh, we'll see what tools they're carrying. But that pretty much gets you sorted for most things, that does. And do all your maintenance. I mean, 
they've been used, they're all greasy. Tightening things up, checking things. Nice these sets because they've got ratchet spanners in as well. So that's the, I think that's the 150 piece Alfred's advanced set. Um, heavy, but worth it. That's why it lives under my seat, it doesn't move around. So uh, that's covered us for tools. Tire deflator, they can come out because we can't take them. So I'll find somewhere for those to live in the other truck. First aid kit. This actually needs updating. This one's probably out of date. Always get a fresh one before we go. Uh, but dressings, burn cream, scissors, antiseptic, paracetamol. Just checking the date. Can't see the date on that. Oh, hang on. Yeah, out of date. So that needs updating. I'll grab another one before we leave. It's always worth having one. You never know. Big tie compressor. Um, because we're forever airing the tires up and down, so tire compressor extension, all that fun stuff. Heavy but useful. I think this is one of the last things in here. Oh yeah, punch repair kit. Uh, also needs updating. There's uh, some of that needs replacing. Hello Teddy, you've just appeared mate. I need to get some more of the, the gluey sticks. So uh, yeah, I'll order some of them. That can just be topped up. That's it for behind the seats. So the only other thing in there is radios, the CBs. So like I was saying, uh, CB, that's useful. Handheld radios, winch controllers. Uh, there are, there's some more back, winch controllers back here as well. So uh, there's winch controllers everywhere. So front and rear. And there's a stand to hold me tablet, phone, camera, um, my sat nav's fell off the windscreen but it lives there. And that's pretty much it. Oh, some spare head torches. And there's a, behind the back of Karen's seat there is a, is a, like a cab tidy. That's got lip balm, um, weird things in it, like extra soap and stuff like that. Just things to hand that you always forget but they, they live in there. So yeah, I think we're pretty much sorted on equipment wise now. Yeah, so that's what we carry with us and what we're not carrying with us. I think what I'm going to do is wrap this video up here guys and we'll come back and we'll do a maintenance video like when I get the service kit and we'll do a full service on the truck. So change all the oils and um, just check everything, brake pipes. Truck's just been through an MOT, it was only done last week so I'm not too worried about stuff like that. But uh, yeah, like I said, I'm going to finish it here and we'll come back with another video on, on doing the servicing. So as usual guys, if you've enjoyed it, give me that thumbs up. Make sure to like, comment, share and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one.